Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome to uh, Wednesday morning session, Particle Dynamic in Strong Gravity. Good morning. And, uh, today's chairman is Arman Tursunov. Good morning to everybody. So it's my pleasure to introduce the first speaker, uh, Martin Kolis from Silesian University in Opava, who will be speaking about the uh, radiative Penrose process, uh, energy gain by a single radiating charged particle in the ergosphere of rotating black hole. So please, Martin, you have 25 minutes. Okay, thank you, Armand. And, uh, yes, I would like to also ask other, all, all, uh, everybody who is not except speaker to turn their microphones off. Yes, please, Martin. Okay, so I will be speaking about some uh, new effect we have just been studying in our research group. So, it will be about how particle can radiate inside black hole ergosphere and uh, because black hole ergosphere is quite unusual place uh, there will be some unusual aspects aspects of it so we have 22 uh, rack time and it is actually it's a celebration of birthday of professor stuchvik as we already know so i will tell you all the story at the beginning so uh, inside ergosphere uh, of rotating black hole uh, you can have particles and photons with negative energies uh, with respects to infinity. And uh, if you put there also a charged particle, which will be moving in some, some electromagnetic field, then such particle, uh, charged particle, if it will be accelerated, then it will radiate uh, some photons. And if these photons will be negative, uh, then actually this charge radiating particle will be gaining energy. And this is the whole story which we would like to unravel in this talk. So as you already know, uh, they are rotating black hole, black holes, and uh, we can describe them by Kerr metric. So uh, there is some example uh, how it looks like, everybody know it. Uh, there are some important surfaces uh, in this metric. One of them is black hole horizon. Uh, which is some, something like boundary uh, from where you cannot return. But we will be focusing mostly on black hole ergosphere. Uh, the black hole ergosphere is some region which is quite close to the black hole horizon. Uh, mo mostly people are plotting uh, some features like this where uh, the black hole ergosphere is quite large, uh, but this is for extremely rotating black hole. If you have black hole with, let's say, small rotation, but still large, uh, then the black hole er ergosphere is actually not uh, too big. And inside the ergosphere, as it's already known by Bardeen, uh, you can have uh, particles or photons uh, with negative energies. So this is something unusual about this, uh, about this place. So we assume that there is some electromagnetic field around black holes. Uh, this is just some theoretical model uh, for our study. It is not necessary that uh, the electromagnetic field around the hole will be in the shape we are using, but we would like to have some analytical formulas for it. So in realistic situations, uh, such electromagnetic field will be just test field. It will not contribute to the geometry. Uh, so we can still use uh, Kerr metric and on it, we can solve Maxwell equation and got some solution. So here are like four important solutions which we'll be using. You can have electric monopole, uh, which is very well known from Kerr Newman space time. Uh, we can have magnetic monopole uh, in, from blanford Nike, for example, solution. You can have uniform field uh, from Wald solution and that you can just have combination of uniform field and uh, charge, which is called uniform field wall, wall charge. Some this is some realistic actually setup, but for us it will be just uh, the testing ground, testing ground for uh, some effects. We will be testing them in different electromagnetic field configuration. So we will be focusing on uh, charge particle dynamics, uh, and the charge particle will be radiating. Uh, uh, here you can see. Uh, the equation of motion for such charged particle. And uh, on the left side, uh, you can see some terms uh, which are just geodesic. If you, if you turn off uh, the right side, you have just geodesic motion. So the, the green term is just the influence of gravity. 
uh, on the right side, you see two terms. Uh, one of them is blue and one of them is red. The blue term is a Lorentz force, uh, which is just acting on the charged particle. Uh, so this is some new force which will uh, change uh, the trajectory from geodesics in care uh, to some different trajectory. And uh, the last the red term is some effect of radiation reaction. Uh, the particle, the charged particle is moving on some accelerated trajectory with some acceleration. So uh, it will be radiating uh, some photons and uh, mostly the trajectory will be changed. Uh, it's quite easy to calculate the Lorentz force. It is just given by a partial derivative of uh, electromagnetic force potential. Uh, this term is quite complicated. I will not show it. Uh, but if you are interested, we have article about how the char radiating charge particle are moving in Schwarzschild space time. So you can read this article. Uh, I cannot give you the equation of motion in full term uh, around care because they looks very horrible. Uh, but I can show you uh, the version of them in flat space time where uh, we can see the terms uh, more cl clearly. Uh, so. If you if you now focusing on the on the blue terms, uh, this is what you know, for example, from for, from the course of classical electrodynamics, uh, that the particle uh, is moving on some uh, circular orbit. As yes, you can see, there is just uh, the change of uh, u x velocity is given by some u uh, y z y uh, term. Uh, and this is the Lorentz uh, Lorentz term. And if you if you calculate also back reaction, there will be a new term, uh, which is actually always positive. So it will it will always decrease uh, these velocities. And it's all the same in all uh, these four components of four velocity. And it it behaves like some kind of dumping uh, of the motion. Yes. Yeah? So. Uh, if you include a uh, radiation uh, reaction in flat space time, you will see that the particle is moving on circles. So it's actually spirals because in this direction, it is just moving up. And uh, slowly it will uh, decrease its uh, radius uh, of the oscillation. So it will become uh, smaller and smaller circles. And the end, it will be just moving uh, around uh, this uh, vertical direction. So. Lorentz force, uh, co in comparison to the gravity, can be very, very large. Actually, for electrons and even small magnetic or electric fields, uh, this term can be huge. And uh, it could be the main leading term for the uh, charge particle motion. On the other hand, uh, this term is actually uh, cubic uh, in, uh, so, so it is uh, in power of four. In, in charge and cubic in mass. So this term is relevant only for particles, which has a very large ratio of uh, charge to, to its mass. So uh, only for elementary particles, the radiation reaction is relevant. And for the field, which are not uh, extremely strong, uh, only electrons will be influenced by radiation reaction. So we will be focusing mostly on electrons, how they are moving uh, around uh, black hole ergosphere and what, uh, what will be happening there. Uh, you can have some, also some here, some time scales of orbits around black hole and uh, some radiation losses estimation for electrons if you consider this kind of magnetic field uh, around uh, some different kind of uh, black holes. So, here you can see how uh, the radiation patterns uh, look like. So if the particle is moving, uh, this is how the photons are emitted uh, during their uh, motion. So here it is mostly isotropic, but if the velocity of the particle is very large, uh, then the emission is beamed in the, into the direction of the motion. Yeah? So almost all photons are radiated uh, in uh, this direction of, of this velocity as if the particle is on the orbit. Uh, this is very well known uh, stuff. And now uh, we would like to focus on uh, the ergosphere and negative energy there. 
as you know, there is uh, if the black hole is rotating, uh, it will drag uh, the inertial frame with it, and uh, the space time will be distorted not only by the gravity but also by the rotation. But angular momentum and particle energy are constant of the motion and they are conserved. And uh, there are some special kind of observers which are non-rotating non with respect. Uh, uh, so, so their uh, uh, angular momenta is zero. This is some called non-rotating frames. And so you can distinguish uh, observers which are rotating uh, co-rotating on contra-rotating with the black hole. Uh, on this feature, we can actually see non-rotating black hole and these uh, uh, locally non-rotating observers will be just falling down, yes? So they are falling down. Uh, but if, if you include rotation, you can see that uh, actually the inertial frames are dragged. And uh, even if you are going against the black hole rotation, in the end, uh, you will be starting to rotate with uh, the black hole. And uh, there is very nice aspect of uh, particle motion inside black hole agrosphere that there exists uh, uh, particles and photons uh, which has negative energies. And it will be very interesting to know if uh, the particle which is radiating, if it is possible to radiate uh, photons with negative energies and what will be the consequences of uh, such process. If you, are, if you can radiate uh, photons with negative energies, maybe the trajectory will look uh, strange. So this is actually how uh, radiation looks like around Schwarzschild. This is like standard stuff. We already published this and uh, you have seen it on the last track time. Uh, if the particle is not radiating, this is the gray, uh, gray curves. You can see that it is just orbiting around black hole. If the radiation will be included, uh, it will dump, the, the, the energy will be decreased and angular momenta will be increased and radiating particle is actually falling to the black hole. In this case, yes, it is uh, just falling down. This is captured by black hole. Here, uh, the radiating particle is actually radiating away some energy angular momenta and its orbit becomes uh, more or less circular. So this is like standard stuff, uh, just like dumping uh, acting on the, on the oscillations. But what will happen inside ergosphere? So outside a sphere, uh, you can again see the dumping, yes. Uh, we actually put some color on the trajectory to see time evolution. Yes? So uh, as, uh, as the color is changing from red to blue uh, on all figures, you can see a different section of the trajectory uh, corresponding to a different part of these plots. So for example, uh, I plotted uh, this part of uh, for velocity and also energy to see that uh, there is very clear pattern of energy decrease. Yes? So uh, some energy so has been uh, radiated away and the particle is actually slowing down. So this is standard stuff. But if you actually uh, will be inside ergosphere, uh, the sign of uh, UT can, can be changing. And if you are actually inside ergosphere, and the criteria that this is negative and this is positive is met, uh, then actually you can see energy increase because you are moving against uh, the rotation of the black hole uh, and uh, you are radiating photons with negative energy and hence your uh, energy is increased. Then particle actually leave the ergosphere, uh, the sign of this component is changing and uh, in this place it is radiating uh, photons with positive energy, so you can see energy decrease. Again, the particle enter the uh, black hole atmosphere and starts to gain some energy, go away, radiated something away, and so on. So you, this should be a continuation of, of this process. Uh, this has been calculating for a uh, uniform magnetic field. So uh, there are different trajectories. For example, uh, this one is qu uh, quite astrophysically interesting. So you can take particle, uh, at some energy and it is moving inside ergosphere and while it is in ergosphere it is actually gaining energy because this term is positive yes ut is positive so there is energy increase but when it will be leaving ergosphere and the red is going to orange it it just starts to uh, radiate photons with positive energy and you see energy loss uh, and actually it will uh, this energy gain will contribute uh, to the particle 
ability to escape. So here the particle can escape from black hole region and go, in, go to infinity. You can see that it will radiate uh, normally uh, when it will be leaving the ecosphere. And we actually try to plot uh, the same stuff uh, for different electromagnetic configuration, just to check if this process is uh, general and not uh, only for one electromagnetic configuration. And you can see the same effect uh, uh, exists also for monopole electric charge. Again, if you are uh, if you are rotating against uh, if you are rotating against black hole rotation, if the particle is going against black hole rotation, uh, there is energy increase. When you left ergosphere, uh, energy is radiated away. It works also, for example, for monopole magnetic charge, uh, magnetosphere. The problem is that sometimes uh, you can see energy gain, uh, but particle is not allowed to escape anyway. So uh, it will radiate photons with negative energies, but uh, it will be anyway uh, captured by the black hole. Uh, also, uh, this is quite common case also for uniform magnetic field without ball charge. So just you will gain energy, but uh, you will end up into the black hole. And we actually seen a similar trajectory already. So uh, this is again uniform magnetic field with all charge. Uh, there is energy increase. If you leave the ergosphere, your energy will be starting to decrease. So uh, if you would like to summary what has been observed uh, by our numerical experiments. Uh, so we have seen that if the following uh, criteria are met, if UT is positive and UFI is negative, so this is like uh, uh, the charged particle is contra-rotating to the black hole rotation, uh, negative uh, photons with negative energy are emitted. And actually, charge part, radiating charge particle is not losing energy, but gaining energy. And uh, that's quite interesting. Uh, and all the photons with negative energy actually cannot leave the ergosphere, and they are captured by black hole. And uh, hence, the total energy of the black hole, rot rotational energy of the black hole is decreasing by this process. Uh, this process works for. Uh, uh, for some, well, actually, it should be working for any spin of the black hole, but uh, since uh, you need some ergosphere where particles should move for some time, uh, it should be, it is like the process enhanced when the spin of the black hole is large. And also, if the magnetic field or electric field is strong, the process of energy gain is stronger. And uh, we observe that this process works in any configuration of electromagnetic field we have uh, been studying. So probably it is some uh, general process. Maybe there are some astrophysical consequences of this uh, new, uh, new process, radiative Penrose process. So the main problem with original Penrose process is that it will require uh, large velocities of uh, the fraction. So original Penrose process, if it's just like you have one particle, it will split or decay inside the whole ergosphere and one uh, part will have negative energy and will be captured by black hole and another will just go away with larger energy than the initial uh, particle. But you, you will need very large uh, uh, velocities, rel uh, rel uh, relative velocities of the fragments, which should be actually larger than half the speed of light, which is not easy to achieve. Uh, but in our new radiative Penrose process, uh, you will be needing just one particle. So just one charged particle, uh, if it is uh, contra-rotating to the black, uh, black hole, if it is contra-rotating, then you will see uh, radiation of uh, photons with negative energy and uh, you will see energy gain. The process will be working for electrons only uh, because the radiative terms uh, is uh, cubic in particle mass. So uh, for realistic electromagnetic configuration, uh, you will not, uh, you will have only electrons. And what is quite interesting, uh, you can see that actually, if the particle is, for example, uh, going away and radiating in this region and just going back radiating away in this region. So all the photons with negative energy uh, 
which are radiated in this part of the trajectory will just go down and will be captured by the black hole. But here the photons uh, have positive energy that can go to infinity. So probably uh, we can observe uh, some synchrotron radiation just above ergosphere. Uh, so there is like some astrophysical consequences that if the process is working correctly, then uh, we should observe some synchrotron emission just above ergosphere edge. And it should be powerful, we don't know. And uh, what we are working just now, we just submit the article. Uh, you can actually read uh, all the story on uh, archive. And uh, we are working on synchrotron spectra. I would like to calculate one particle synchrotron spectra from this process. And uh, we would like to know if there are some uh, distinguishable features of this process, which could be observed. Uh, and that will be probably all. Thank you very much, Martin, for a very nice talk. So now we have time for questions, please. You can raise Arman, your hand or... Arman? Yes, please. May I ask a question? Sure, sure. sure. Uh, Martin, thank you very much for your presentation. So Great my question. first question is concerning, uh, you have electron and positron. What is mm -hmm. the difference of positron? Why uh, you give priority to electron? Because positron can behave in the same manner. Well, we, we, didn't, we didn't test positron. The same mass and the same uh, electromagnetic features, uh, only the yes. sign. It, it will, I think it, the process will work also for positrons, but yeah. uh, we just take electrons. Yeah, because you can consider them also. Yes, it yes. I, I think uh, you will be just changing sign, so it yeah. will be just going. Uh, uh, it it was my first question. Mm -hmm. uh, so electron positron duality, mm -hmm. it will be the same. And uh, other comment. So you see, we have uh, several Penrose processes. It mm -hmm. is classical Penrose process, magnetic Penrose mm -hmm. process. So it is most efficient when you consider neutral particles. So because we say that when neutral particle decays in the ergosphere, then the uh, electric charge, volt uh, uh, charge, accelerates this particle, yes. and then this particle uh, is taking uh, huge energy. But here, uh, uh, from efficiency, so can we observe some? If uh, what is uh, uh, my question is concerning efficiency of this radiative uh, radiating uh, Penrose process. Mm -hmm. How efficient is it? How I can uh, estimate the efficiency of this process? Do Actually, yes, yes, I understood it. It's a very good question. I don't want to go to the detail to magnetic Penrose process and all the stuff. Uh, but actually, you can see that the efficiency is not uh, so high because in magnetic Penrose process, you can go to, let's say, many order of magnitudes uh, yeah. to increase your efficiency. Here, it is just like one order of magnitude. Uh, but you, it should work uh, for any particle because for magnetic Penrose process, you need some uh, decay from, let's say, neutral particle. You, you, will, you must produce some products like electrons and protons. Uh, but here, uh, every particle which will be accelerated uh, and will be charged inside the ergosphere will be just radiating. So it's probably more general, but the efficiency is, uh, compared to magnetic panels process, the efficiency is lower. And uh, other question concerning observational properties. So if your radiating uh, Penrose process is functioning, then your uh, boundary, so uh, I will say event horizon, uh, will be distinguishable. So it will be radiating. So it will be shining. So from this point of view, <laughs> yeah, we will see the boundary of ergosphere in astronomical observations. Yes, yes. yes. So Actually, it, this is one so topic we have discussed already with Arman. So you think uh, Penrose process, you kill the main <laughs> distinguishing tool between black hole and uh, neutron star or other objects because uh, they, they reflect but here in your case uh, uh, b black hole uh, uh, so even horizon will be shining <laughs> so it is uh, something uh, which we should observe it yes is, okay De definitely we would like to focus on this problem later okay. so uh, can... anyway, it is interesting. Yeah, may maybe if i can comment so mm. this uh Actually, um, uh, that's true that, that there will be strong synchrotron radiation from the edge of the ergosphere, but the question is uh, in which wavelengths it will be observed. So, so uh, for now, the observation of the black hole is all made in the submillimeter wavelengths, but uh, this is 
radio and usual uh, well uh, in this situation when you have high energy electron or positron which is emitting uh, like high, uh, radiating away uh, the energy of the edge of ergosphere uh, not necessarily will be and I, I think that the wavelengths will be shorter uh, in this situation which can... anyway it is interesting <laughs> it is uh, uh, and, uh, and may have astrophysical consequences good good very good uh, we still have one minute for uh, maybe one more question. Yes, please. Uh, hello. Uh, I have one uh, question. You mentioned that the photons with uh, negative energy are uh, counter-rotating since uh, in the direction of uh, negative azimuthal motion. But they exist inside the ergosphere and there is all directed in the positive uh, direction of azimuthal motion. This is right. So uh, what, what is the direction of the photons with uh, negative energy? I think well, that they are directed in opposite side with respect to the uh, locally non-rotating yes, frames. Yes, yes, but from right. the point of view of the distant observer, they are uh, co-rotating. Is it right? Yes, that, that's correct. That's correct. Uh -huh. so, Thank you. So, so, yes. That's it so, so it's, they, they will be just focusing uh, uh, in, in the velocity of the particle. Uh, but actually, since the particle is contra-rotating to the black hole rotation, they will be just mm -hmm. contra-rotating, but with respect to the locally non-rotating frames. With, yeah, well, the ergosphere okay. is sometimes tricky, so uh, even if you see such, yes. uh, such figure, it actually means that the pa and the black hole is rotating like this, it means that the particle, in this case, actually contra-rotating, so uh, mm -hmm. because of okay. the frame-dragging effect. Yeah, thank you. So if there are no any urgent questions, I would like to thank Martin again.